Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. It's your girl, The Real True Divine Feminine. I come with a quick little message for you guys. And my message to you guys is sometimes your blessings can come in the way of hard times. Don't get distracted because you're going through. Don't allow things that somebody else did to you in your life or try to project in your life to make you bitter, angry, and upset. You don't have to respond to everything. You don't have to react to everything. But you have to pray for everything. When you learn how to give your problems, your worries, your cares, your battles to the Lord, he fights for you. You don't have to defend your character because your character going to defend yourself. Sometimes us as people, we be so quick to want to clear up something. You don't have to clear up nothing. Because in the midst of disaster, a blessing will come. In the midst of slander, a blessing will come. In the midst of brokenness, a blessing will come. You just have to learn how to take heed, be grateful, be open to receive the blessings that are standing before you. You don't always have to look at everything in a negative access. Sometimes stuff happens to us in our life for us to open up our eyes. And if you're not willing to open up your eyes and see that the things that's going on, then of course you're going to feel like, of course you're going to feel like, uh, everything is bad when everything is not bad. Yes. Right now you could be on the verge of losing your job. Your money could be funny, but you never know what blessing is coming right then and there. Stop holding your head down. Pick your head up. When you fall through trials and tribulations, you supposed to be, you supposed to count it all joy when you fall into those trials and tribulations, because it's just a take. You need to up your faith. You feel what I'm saying? Be truthful, be honest, be grateful, be blessing, be who you are to be, not who somebody else wants you to be. Learn to accept things for what they are. Learn to accept who you are and who you are going to bring you a long way, who you are going to do a lot of things to you. People may try to break you. People may just try to discredit you, but listen, you can't discredit somebody authenticity. Point black and beard. The more you be true to yourself, the more, the more of your light is going to shine. Be true to you. I don't care how much hate they throw at you. I don't care how much malice they throw at you. I don't care how much they want you to get back. People will provoke you and provoke you, provoke you to get out your character and to do things to stoop to their level. But when you know who you are, you know how to fight your battles. All battles are not fought with your hands. All battles are not fought with your mouth. Sometimes you got to fall on your knees, cover your head, go before his throne and let him fight that battle for you. Sometimes us as people, we like to entertain stuff that we should not be entertaining. And you have to learn what to entertain and what not to entertain. They can call you weak. They can call you scary. They can call you whatever they want to call you. Let them call you whatever you want to. You got stuff to lose. When you got stuff to lose, you don't prove shit to nobody when you got stuff to lose. I tell this to my kids all the time. Don't lose what you got going on trying to prove something to the streets. Try to make somebody else that's discrediting you try to give you some credit. Hell no. I am who my heavenly father say who I says that I am. So how you feel about me is not going to pay my bills. It's not going to make me sleep. It's not going to make me shit. It's not going to feed me. It's not going to do anything for me. So when you learn that mindset, you learn things can't bother you. You got to stop letting things get to you. You got to stop letting folks feel like they got the upper hand in your life because people will try to control you in every which way you go on a job they want to control when you when you can go off when you can do you're in a relationship they want to control you you friends with somebody they want to control you people want people like control you heard me when god is in control of everything how could you control something in somebody else's life when your your life falling behind you can't do that so you know what i'm saying i just want you guys to understand this right here just because you're going through a hard time just because you just because things not going the way you feel like they should go it's a blessing in the midst of that hard time you're just not recognizing a blessing because for the simple fact is that you're in your head stay out your head stay out your feelings stay prayed up that's all you gotta do is stay prayed up prayed up god got you remember that if somebody did something to you somebody did all man look don't get even we don't get even around here you know what we do we pray for you in the midst of it. I still want you to be blessed. I still want God to show some favor upon your life. I still want God to bless your children. I still want God to bless your household. I still want God to break them generational curses off your whole family. 
You have to learn how to fight your battles. You have to learn to stop allowing stuff to get to you. Stop allowing things to get to you. Stop responding to stuff. Stop entertaining foolishness. Just keep going. Keep going and keep being the best version of you, baby. In your storm. In your pain. In your embarrassment. In your shame. What they, they talking about you. They judging you. They spread lies. They doing all that. You still walk with your head held high. Because like I keep telling everybody, your character gonna always outweighs any lie. People gonna lie about you to the day they die to the day you die. Even when you dead, they still gonna be lying on you. They still gonna be talking about you. They still gonna be doing all this. So why you here walking your purpose, walking your calling and do what God has called you to do? All the rest of that other stuff that's beneath you. And when stuff is beneath you, you're going to file a blood above it. Take every negative that's in your life, use that negative to your advance and make it some positive. Point blank and period. I don't know who that message is for. I don't know who needs to hear that, but I pray that message reach who it needs to reach and help who it needs to help. It's your girl, the real true divine feminine. Peace.